you say to a man who has stolen your front gate? Nothing. You might take offence. <laughs> anyway, so my name is David Malone. Uh, I do a few different things, but I'm going to tell you about software radio. I do research in Maynooth. Uh, I did my undergraduate and postgraduate here in maths, um, and I, uh, I also write some software. So I'm going to tell you what software is. Software is the easy bit of computers, okay? So this is a very simple program, and the program is a piece of software. This just prints out Hello World over and over again. And this is what you used to see running on computers in computer shops for years. Software can be complicated. This is a very famous program. I don't know if any, anybody knows what it does. It actually prints out the lyrics to the 12 days of Christmas, okay? <laughs> so you can make programs that do all kinds of stuff. And this is the beauty of programs. They're, they're very flexible. Um, it's a little bit like Lego. So if you've got the Lego building blocks, you can build all kinds of stuff from Lego. This is a tower that goes from my floor to my ceiling. Um, but if you want to make a new Lego block, that's hard. And that's like changing hardware in the computer. So you can build stuff out of Lego, but designing a new Lego block, block is pretty uh, tricky. So what's radio? It's sending inf information around with electromagnetic waves. And it usually goes from a little radio like this from a big tower, which is the thing in the background. That's the Radio 1 transmitter in me, if you're interested. So two things you need to know about uh, electromagnetic waves. One is that you can think about waves as having a frequency. That's important because that's what we do when we twiddle the dial on the radio. And the other thing is it's electromagnetic, so it's something to do with electricity. Um, and that's going to be important for how radios actually work. So the way a radio works is you have an aerial, which picks up these waves. Something makes it louder because the signal is very weak. Then you pick out the frequency you want. Then the rest of the radio is designed to work at a fixed frequency so you have something that picks out the fixed frequency, tries to get the information back again, that's the demodulation, and the bit at the end usually turns it into a sound or a picture or something you can hear. The bit at the bottom is the tuning knob, and that's what you change is which bit of the signal you pick out. Now, if you actually look at how all this is done, the stuff on the left is actually pretty simple. This stuff uses transistors or valves if you're old-fashioned. You need a crystal for the tuning bit. Stuff on the right-hand side is much, much harder. Uh, it's got transistors, capacitors, and all sorts of stuff in the demodulator. That bit's really hard. So the idea of software radio is you scrap all the hard stuff in hardware and you replace it with a program. Um, so in this, this is basically the idea that you're just going to encapsulate off the difficult bit, and you keep the simple bit because that bit works pretty well already. To get the signal into the computer, you need something called an analog to digital converter. It takes some kind of smooth signal, picks out it at a particular moment, and turns it into a list of numbers. Um, so the research guys love this. The way that you used to make a new radio was you had to design a circuit, you had to make somebody to make it, and you had to test it. If it didn't work, you had to send it back again. Now what they can do is they can write a new program. That's brilliant. Okay? It's really nice for trying out new ideas for transmitting information. But you can do this at home. So there's this wonderful Spanish guy who's discovered there's a really fast analog to digital converter on this TV card. And what you can do, what he's done is he snipped off the TV part and he's wired an aerial onto the analog to digital co converter. <coughs> You need to get the frequency stuff out, but the mathematics for that was done quite a long time ago. This thing here is called a Fourier transform, and while it's uh, not too complicated to deal with, and you can turn it into a program. This is not the fast way of doing it, this is the easy way of doing it here. For an aerial, I ran a piece of wire down my mother's back garden and hid it in amongst the uh, telephone lines so that nobody would complain, and amazingly this has worked quite well. Um, and I can pick up all kinds of signals very, uh, quite, uh, quite easily. And so for instance, Frequency, a line along here is constant frequency. We've actually Radio 1 at the top, and we've BBC 4, we've TDF, which is a French station. There's some wibbles in the middle there, which are the Loran navigation system that tells boats where they are. And down the bottom, there's the rugby radio signal. Now, it's not very clear, but there's notches in the signal, and each of those notches tells you where the start of the second is. Uh, this is very interesting, because almost all the time in Ireland comes from the rugby radio signal. The uh, pips on the news, the frequency of the mains, everything. So what I really wanted to do with this software radio is I'm slightly obsessed by time, and I wanted to check how good the pips on the news are, and actually they're lousy. The one at the bottom is the start of the minute, the one above is BBC's effort, and the one at the top is RTE's effort. The pips are miles out. So in summary, uh, software radio is what you get when you take a radio, you hack out the hard bits, and you replace it with software. Um, it's available in your back garden if you buy one of these cards, about 80 euros. Very great fun if you uh, know somebody who can solve it. And you can do all kinds of other fun stuff with it, but that's a story for you. Thank you very much.